Chitra, you you wrote me an email. Right. And you've had three of what we call impossible healings. That's right. And uh, we're going to go through them one at a time. The first one was with your neck. That's right. And, and, t- and tell me how so- you had a neck pain, like a nine or 10 level or something like that for what, weeks or so? Is that correct? Uh, that's right. For about uh, three to three and a half weeks, I was having uh, severe neck pain. Um, I I would the my the vertebrae the vertebral spots would be a little tender and uh, the skin over the uh, over my neck and over my shoulder would feel like you know as if i was having some kind of a burning pain yeah <coughs> and a level if i recall right yeah around nine, nine or, to ten nine yeah nine or ten in that in that area and yeah. so and so you brought an unseen therapist and it i i think you said it vanished almost immediately and it's, right. still, it's still gone two or three weeks later. Yeah, that's right. I have not experienced the pain anymore. And I waited. I waited for about two to three weeks before uh, I could say that, yes, I, I'm. I, it healed me like uh, pretty much like almost instantaneously. And uh, I have not experienced that pain again because of the healing. Yeah. Now, you and I talked about this a little bit before our, our recording here, but... Um, what had happened was you, there, there was there were some emotional issues and so on that were going on that might have been a cause, if you will, of the of the uh, the neck pain. Uh, right. But you didn't in this case. You didn't aim at the cause. You aimed simply at the symptom. That's correct? right. That's right. Yeah. Just okay. And bingo, we got our result. I just want you know those listening in. While we can aim at symptoms and sometimes get these rather astonishing healings like you just got, oftentimes we have to go to um, in-depth causes, et cetera, but not so in this case. Not so in this case. You were using the uh, personal peace procedure procedure. as described in my introductory book. You were using simply introductory versions of this. That's right. Yeah. And here we are. Okay. Great. Now, you also did something surrogately for your dog. Your dog, your dog had um, allergies and yes, allergies uh, and chronic ear infections. Yeah, talk about that a bit, would you? Yeah. So my dog is about five years old now, and from about maybe six, six, six and a half months of uh, his uh, life, he has had uh, some kind of allergies. The veterinarians described it as like, you know, seasonal allergies or allergies to some food. They were never really able to determine the cause of his allergies, but he would invariably every every now and then have uh, chronic ear uh, infections. And uh, I would have to initially when I would go to the vets, they would put they would ask me to put some uh, steroid uh, eardrops and stuff like that. And then it would go away for some time and then be back again. This was more easy. And like, you know, I I could actually just, uh, it was just a request I was putting because I, I know he suffers when he gets ear infections. So I aimed it at uh, the first time that I remembered him getting the infection at around six months of age. Like, you know, it was right after his vaccination and like, you know, he was chewing his paws and he was in distress. And so I, I aimed it at that. And over a period of maybe um, 10 days or so, I have noticed that he's not chewing and licking his paws as much. He's not scratching himself so much. And he still does. It's not completely gone, but his ear infections, I had specifically requested that his uh, it would be like you know goopy and blackish kind of when when it's at the peak of infection that it become like you know healthy baby pink in color like you know please make it uh, make him have a good healing and make it healthy baby pink in color and that's how his ears are now like you know there's barely any blackish uh, goop left in there and most of it is almost like you know nice pink and sure. uh, he's he's a, a lot more comfortable sleeps a lot better and. Yeah. Well, just so listeners will know, we do this a lot for our, our, our animals, our pets, dogs, cats, horses, and, and so on, and oftentimes get results, even though we cannot communicate, you know, in, right. in, in, in language, you know, with, with the dogs or, or the pets, uh, but yet doing it surrogately, we can get a lot done. So I mean, that's an example. Now, 
The third one is your husband. He had to have a tooth extracted. That's right. You know, two, the two, of them. Two, two, oh, two of them. Two of them. Okay. Yes. And usually when you have one extracted, I mean, you're in pain and, you know, you got, he doesn't go away just like that, you know, <laughs> go to the dentist, yes. you know, yeah. but it did almost go away like that, the pain, et cetera. Talk about that some, could you? Yeah. So when, when I went, when my husband had to get uh, two of his teeth extracted, um, before they started the procedure, the anesthetic and uh, the local and all that stuff. Before that, I, I did sit down for a few minutes and I invited the unseen therapist to help with the dental extraction and to bring about a really uh, uncomplicated and complete healing. And I had invited the unseen therapist. So the, after the tooth extraction came out, I mean, after the tooth was extracted, the there was absolutely like, you know, very minimal swelling, which was like, you know, a very uh, uh, uncommon. You usually have quite a bit of swelling. Sure. Sometimes there's a lot of bleeding and he had absolutely no pain and a very minimal swelling. And like, I, I, I totally attributed to uh, having invited an, uh, the unseen therapist and requesting an easy extraction and an uncomplicated uh, 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 uncomplicated no complications after this extractions sure and those kinds of things are considered basically impossible because you know in in uh, it's beyond the typical reach of of man-made methods you know most true. most dentists won't tell you many very many stories like that okay. <laughs> true now and i just want to add in there uh aiming it again not at cause in this case, there hardly probably wasn't much of an emotional oh, right, right. dentist and pulled his tooth out. Something like I had a, a very serious injury to my to my left knee of, you know, two, three years ago. And I, I thought I was going to be on crutches for weeks. And it was gone in a day after being an unseen therapist and so on. So these become impossible 